Hey, did you know that the Indian Penal Code is meticulous enough to have defined terms even such as fraudulently? Well, if you do, scoot over and make room for others and join in for another session of one minute, one section with AK. Interestingly, section 25 of the Indian Penal Code has defined fraudulently. You have done something fraudulently if you have done it with the intention to defraud. Hmm, what does this mean though? And how is it relevant? Well, for starters, fraudulently is understood as deceit and injury. To act fraudulently, a person must have, with the intention to do so, employed deception and caused injury to the one being deceived. A closer look at the last three words of this section, but not otherwise, indicate that it is far from the idea of bare intent to deceive and closer to actual deception leading to commission or omission, thereby causing injury. Now, were you to contrast fraudulently with dishonestly, you would find that they are different in two aspects. Deceit is an essential ingredient of the term fraudulently, whereas it isn't so for the term dishonestly. And while the term dishonestly involves gain and loss, it may not always be the case for an act to have been done fraudulently. For example, the simple act of picking up and ghosting with your friend's notes before the exam is acting dishonestly. But going to Earth's ends to convince them to give you their notes for photocopying them with no intention of returning these notes and actually triumphing at this would mean you acted fraudulently. So go and make your own notes and have a good day. This is me signing off. See you again.